Two teams that have met at least twice a year since 1932. The Lions and Packers underway from Lambeau. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Let's go. Love going to throw right away. That's caught by the rookie, Jaden Reed. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. First and 10 at the 42 yard line. Off the play fake, Love. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Romeo Acquara shooting in there and dropping him for the sack. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. They need 12 here. It's third down. Love looking to throw it. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. Well, short of them returning it for a pick six, that was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Love. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Oh, Lee McNeil, what an effort to get in there and drop him. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. To pass, here's Jordan Love. A short throw to Musgrave. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And it's a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed from 21 yards away. And the Packers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Carlson's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Picked off by Quay Walker, and he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Following the interception, Love. And he's got his man on the out route. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Love. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. Four yards on the touchdown, Brown. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Carlson's extra point up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. And that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in 
front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Another shot now for this Lions offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. That's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Now gone. Packer pressure and down he goes. Rashawn Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. Well, that's a big defensive stop there, and it takes away a lot of the momentum from the offense. Coming off that big completion, the prior snap. Give big credit to the defense for bouncing back. Throwing on second and long. Goff setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. And that's why he's been a first-round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Now a first down throw, gone. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. From the red zone now, gone. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. On second down, here's Gibbs. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. Okay, CD, second quarter, look at their deficit and where they're at on the field. They're going for this, right? I think that they are because down at this point, they've just made that big move, ride the momentum wave while you can. I know people think, hey, you've got to get some points here. Hey, you're riding it big time. Go get it done. To throw is gone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions have got it back to within a score. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. On play action, love to throw. Open man is missed 
Osprey, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. First down, love to pass. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 27. Love going to give this one to Jones. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. First and 10 at the 17 yard line. On first and 10, Love. Throw caught by Musgrove. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring up second down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. A four receiver set here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and six. Love now. Catch made by Watson on the out route. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Throwing. Love. Touchdown, Packers! Romeo Dobbs, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Carlson's extra point up and good. And it's now 21-7. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together. Reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first and ten, Goff. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Play action. It's Goff. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the gun, here's Goff. Out round, he finds his man, it's Jones. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Goff on first down. Finds Gibbs on a check down. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. now looks to throw and that nearly intercepted it's incomplete now remember he had a pick earlier but couldn't reel that one in play number seven now coming up on the drive third and five out of the gun golf he's got it complete to Gibbs the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. 
Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing again is gone. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Josh Reynolds as the first half is winding down. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. An anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Love. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Lions will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. We Coach. saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. These two teams going through their final adjustments. It's about time for the second half in Green Bay. So for the call, we go back up to Lambeau and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone, and he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on the play. And now he's getting the ball to start the second half. How about how the offense that you already referenced in the first half? They'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Go on. Looking downfield for Jones. They've got his man complete. A big play there for Detroit. 42 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a play fake, and it's gone. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Patterson's kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. 
Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to keep the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their mark. And for the third time tonight, he's intercepted. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Well, nursing such a small lead, you thought he'd take better care of the football after his last drive. Now for the second straight possession, he's put all the pressure right back on his defense. They need to take a stand and hold that lead. After the interception, here's Goff. Complete to Jones. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now it's gone. Receiver, that's Jones. Lions touchdown. Marvin Jones, an 18 yard touchdown grab. And the Lions have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that gives him a three point lead. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I, we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. Third and 19. To throw now. Here's Love. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. It's a 43 yard punt, a return of five, and the Lions will take over. The longtime NFL vet, Marvin Jones, leading out this offense. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, make, you do. You get you hungrier. You get greedy in a good way. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. Man open here is Jones. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? He finds his man complete. It's Gibbs. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. At the eight-yard line. To the air again. Golf. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Only able to gain a couple there. And it's third and four now. 
And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here's Goff. Forced out to his left. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And the script really has flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Fighting through, and he's got space. And this will be a Packers first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. Ready. Love looking to throw it. The left side completion to Jones. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. The Packers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's gone. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. A good pick up there, 22. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold them up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. They'll try and run it with Gibbs. And he's going to be marked down very close to the first down marker, but it looks like he's a yard short. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. All right, ball at the one-yard line, fourth down. What do you say? I say go, because if you can't get one yard, he was the old adage, if I can't get one yard, I don't deserve to win anyway. Tell your team it's that time. Who's going to get down in the trenches? Grind it out and make sure that ball gets in the end zone. Who's it going to be? Let's go do it. They throw for it on fourth and goal at the one. And the Packer defense stands tall down by the goal line. 
And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game, even with the two points there. But let's just say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely not trending in the right direction. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Goff going to throw it. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Now a second and ten. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Throwing on third, Goff. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, I'm guessing that on the sidelines there might be a few words said about that mistake there, but I don't think it's going to hurt them in the long run. They're still going to get out of here with a win. Yeah, they got the, the two-score cushion, but you know what coaches say, Charles? Finish strong. Finish the game out the way it's supposed to be played. In fact, coaches might be secretly happy because of a chance to do a little extra coaching next week. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Love. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. There he goes, left side. And the Lions will take over possession here, up at the 44. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it. I think about it awfully hard, but also you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player. You have to know the situation. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Goff now looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Fighting through it. He's got space. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is 